Now let's go ahead and begin with our narrative for today. This is actually an excerpt from a book called When I Was Puerto Rican by Esmeralda Santiago. Esmeralda Santiago is a writer and actress. She was born in Puerto Rico in 1948 and moved with her family to the United States when she was 13. This excerpt is the beginning of her first book, When I Was Puerto Rican, the first of her three memoirs. It tells the story of her childhood in Puerto Rico and the move to New York. Barco que no anda no llega a puerto. A ship that doesn't sail never reaches its ports. There are guavas at the shop and save. I pick one the size of a tennis ball and finger the prickly stem end. It feels familiarly bumpy and firm. The guava is not quite ripe. The skin is still a dark green. I smell it and imagine a pale pink center. The seeds tightly embedded in the flesh. Now let's go ahead and stop and just do a quick comprehension check. First of all, where is the narrator? If you said the shop and save, great job. Next, why is she there? Hmm. Well, given the fact that, while it doesn't specifically say it, given the fact that she is looking at this piece of fruit and the store name is Shop and Save, I'm going to go ahead and infer that she is going grocery shopping. Now, next, verbs are action words. Go ahead and try to figure out all of the action words or actions that happen in this first paragraph. Now, there were a lot of different verbs or actions that happened, and you may not have gotten all of them, but some ones that you maybe did notice is that she selected a guava, fingered the end. What that means is she ran her fingers or she was touching it with her fingers, smelled the guava, and imagined the inside. So as you can see, there's a lot of senses also in this that the author is using to try to help us visualize. A ripe guava is yellow, although some varieties have a pink tinge. The skin is thick, firm, and sweet. Its heart is a bright pink and almost solid with seeds. The most delicious part of the guava surrounds the tiny seeds. If you don't know how to eat a guava, the seeds end up in the crevices between your teeth. And remember, crevices are small areas. Now, let's go ahead and continue reading. When you bite into a ripe guava, your teeth must grip the bumpy surface and sink into the thick edible skin without hitting the center. It takes experience to do this as it's quite tricky to determine how far beyond the skin the seeds begin. Some years when the rains have been plentiful and the nights cool, you can bite into a guava and not find many seeds. The guava bushes grow close to the ground their branches laden with green, then yellow fruit that seem to ripen overnight. These guavas are large and juicy, almost seedless, their roundness enticing you to have one more, just one more, because next year the rains may not come. As children, we did always wait for the fruit to ripen. We raided the bushes as soon as the guavas were large enough to bend a branch.